Good afternoon and welcome back to another edition of Mining with Prospector Al. Uh, it's been a long time since I've done a video, but I figured this was a good good place to uh, pick up for the year. And uh, I guess last one I did was November of last year and it was in the same location. So for anybody that does not recognize the location, we're in McDowell County, North Carolina, along the banks of South Muddy Creek. And uh, this is a very familiar property to me and some of the other people here too. I think this is our ninth group outing here over the years. And just to set the stage, it's Saturday and it's May the 25th of 2019. And it's about 88 degrees right now and it's just afternoon. So it's a warm day. Been really warm the past uh, week. Even unusually so for, uh, for May, feels more like late June or early July, but uh, probably remember this gravel pile. This is some uh, material that was dug up from a hole here that uh, contains some oh, amphibolax, uh, quartz, some pieces of pegmatite mixed in there. Pretty, pretty geologically diverse area here, and the bugs are quite terrible today, but you can see it's pretty much nothing but blue sky. Uh, we got a pretty good group here this time. I think the largest outing we've ever had here before was 13 people. We've got 15 today, which uh, may mean that we need to do more of the spring outings because we've done fall outings for the last five years and uh, average attendance is probably between eight and 10. So uh, anyway, I'm fixing to, to break out the pans and stuff. Uh, some are dredging, some are high banking. I'm just panning and poking around and getting some exercise fresh air and having a good time. So uh, I'm gonna get down to the creek and get wet, get out of the sun, cause it's very hot out here. It's not too bad in the shade. Uh, anyway, we some of them spent the night last night. Uh, I'll be spending the night tonight before we head back out on Sunday. Um, everybody seems to be having a good time and finding some color, so I'm gonna get to it and be back with you in a few. Uh, we've been here, oh, probably two hours by now. Uh, find a little bit of color. Uh, we went and looked at a pegmatite down there actually found a little bit of green in it. Don't know what it is. It was really small, but uh, anyway, it does show some promise down there. And we've got pegmatites here, amphibolites, uh, and garnet schist, gold, uh, ultramatic exposures, a little bit of everything. But uh, it's hot. It's intolerable except for in the shade. Then you only sweat like a gallon a minute. But uh, we're going to keep digging here. Um, I have heard some reports of some pretty good finds from yesterday. Just haven't had a chance to look at them yet. Uh, so uh, we'll try to take a look at that at some point today or tomorrow. But uh, I guess if you like hot weather, this is perfect. There's not hardly a cloud in the sky. Thank goodness there's plenty of trees down here along the creek or it would just be too hot. A little bit of a breeze blowing. Better here than sitting on the couch. Oh, and where's my brain? By the way, this is an official Coker Creek GPA sponsored outing. So, uh, <clears throat> always encourage new people to uh, join in with us. Uh, we do, do take guests, uh, not just chapter members on these outings. So, uh, if anybody's interested, uh, just hit me up on my YouTube channel or drop me a, an email. You can see some of the setup here. Uh, Variety of bridges and. Got a few further down, dredging. We'll get down there and take a look at that too. Nice warm day. We got uh, Brian and Jimmy down here running a four-inch dredge. Here's to see what they come up with. Uh, 
uh, this spot here seems to be where uh, the old long tom came out because frequently uh, gold found with mercury right in here. Nowhere else but, but right here. I'm not going to do a lot of narrating. It's going to be too hard to hear me because of the dredge running. But there's some gold coming out of here. We'll know exactly how much later. Nice and shady too. Having there panning and Jimmy down there on the not dredge nozzle and Brian down there panning out concentrate. And it's actually not bad right here at the moment. Sitting here in the shade. Doesn't feel like humidity here, boys. Probably close to 90 degrees out, but it's just probably not right here. Uh, plenty of bugs around. See the citronella candle burning there. So it's keeping them away pretty good. Lots of horse flies. And no seams and all kinds of uh, small insects and stuff. It's a good day so far. We'll get a little bit more done tomorrow and then tomorrow evening we'll all start packing out. And we got a little more dredging action going on up here. Uh, two inch uh, ultra mini. Uh, they're good for small uh, spots, high quarters and stuff, clean out cracks in the bedrock. Uh, that's very, fairly shallow the bedrock right there. Everybody's not so enthused about being on the nozzle. But uh, a little warmer right here, and there's down at the other spot uh, where I've been hanging out. Not as much uh, air moving. Morning time here at the camp. It's Sunday, May the 26th. Everybody's kind of packing up. I'm not really started yet, but uh, after having a 0% chance of rain, we had some rain <coughs> early evening. Not too much, not really enough to mess anything up, but uh, the insects are out. Worse flies and stuff. But uh, it was a nice quiet night. Got down into, I'm guessing, the mid to upper 50s. You can see it's just after 8 o'clock and the uh, sun's up enough that the horse flies are out moving around again, which is not good. Everybody's breaking camp. We're gonna do a little panning and stuff before we head out later on in the afternoon, so I'm sure some will head out earlier than others. But uh, we're gonna do some sample panning and stuff in a few of the little branches and uh, hopefully get something good to show. And we have the morning camp breakfast chef cooking scrambled eggs. And what do we have under here? Hiding. Hiding. Ooh, we got sausage and bacon. Somebody looks kind of hungry over there. As our mining adventure continues here on uh, Sunday, we're back in the woods so lovely, dark and deep. And you see over there, there's South Muddy Creek. This is a little branch that comes in. And uh, I know there's gold in here, there's no doubt. Anywhere you dig around here, there's going to be something out. But we're just going to test it and see see what all comes out of it. It's still kind of in the floodplain of South Muddy, but it's probably not going to receive a lot of gold from it. Um, as we look on back up here, there is a, I don't know if you can see it, a pretty good mound. But... Uh, most likely it's tailings from previous operations. This, uh, this property was mined extensively back in the 1800s, early 1900s. Um, a lot of gold came out of here. Uh, exact numbers except for one spot are really not, not published that I've ever found. There was one little hydraulic working actually not too far across the creek and back up in the woods there that uh, based on $20 an ounce back then. They pulled $40,000 worth out, which would be 2,000 ounces. That's a pretty small wash. So pretty rich gravels in here in places. 
and we haven't found a whole bunch this time or really the last time either you just really got to drift around until you find it this area is kind of flood prone particularly here the past three years so we'll kind of see what comes up in here might take a look at it if there's anything that we can uh, actually see other than specter two it's moved on into afternoon now it's about 2:30 or so it's warming up it's really not terrible. It's mostly in the shade here, and for some reason, in the past five minutes, the bugs seem to have left. So that's always a good thing. Don't like all the bugs. Flies primarily, a few mosquitoes, but for whatever reason, the winds might have blown them the other direction. But uh, still working a little branch here, and occasionally we're getting pans with maybe a dozen colors, some r real small little round pieces almost and some decent sized flakes but mostly just really small stuff but uh we're gonna finish up here probably pack out in about an hour i think everybody else is gone now and i'm about to start getting hungry so anyway we'll take a few more little segments here before we get out of here and uh, and then we'll uh, close out and head right back home